stop right there. I'm Colin from Render Effects, and this is how to create the Star Wars Laser Blast effect in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Once you have your shot of your subject shooting your blaster, it's time to hop into Final Cut. Once your shot's in the timeline, our first step will be to get one of our assets from Footage Crate. That'll be in the link in the description. Just sign up for a free account and you'll be able to download the asset. Once you're in Footage Crate, go to the Magic Powers tab, go to Spells and Beams, and then scroll down to Looping Red Witch Energy Ball 1. Go ahead and download that asset. Drag the asset into the timeline, and now it's time to start making our blaster effect. So first, we just need one frame of the Red Witch Looping Energy Ball. So just go one frame over and press option right bracket and now delete the rest of the asset. Now with that one frame, we're gonna line it up over the timing of right when the blaster shoots. So we're gonna look for that frame. Okay, it's, it's this frame right here on mine and drag your asset right there. So now resize the asset in the transform tab over that one frame. Then change the blend mode of that asset to screen. The next step is to add the beam generator. So go up to generators and then scroll down to beam and drag it over the shot. It's gonna start right on the same frame as the other asset we just put in and go a few frames over. I'm doing four for my shot based on the distance it takes for the bullet to leave the frame. So one, two, three, four option right bracket. Now add a shape mask on top of the beam effect, like so. And then increase the curvature using this white circle right here. Drag it inward. Now increase the curvature of the mask. And then shrink the mask down to where it's the shape of a bullet. And then increase the feather. You're going to have to increase it by a lot, so select the feather on the screen and drag it out. Now I'll be able to increase it by a big number without having to change it there. And now you can resize the inner part to change it to what looks like an accurate bullet. That looks accurate to me. Now transform the beam over the shot so it lines up just as a laser blast would, like that and change the blend mode of the generator to screen. Perfect. I'm gonna change the size a bit of mine because I think the bullet should be a bit wider like that. That's good. Now, over the next couple frames, transform the position of the bullet. So I'm adding keyframe to position, going one frame over and moving it along here and moving it along again and then in the last frame it will be out of frame. Now we can just delete this last one. Now boom. So now there are the free assets in the timeline. Next to make this effect even better I'm going to add the free adjustment layer from Motion VFX. It's down in the link in the description. Drag the adjustment layer on top of the shot and make it just one frame over the same frame as the red ball asset. And then I'm gonna add a lens flare from M Flare 2, which is a great motion VFX plug, and you'll find it down linked in the description. This will make this shot look even better. Dragging one of the lens flares on top of the adjustment layer, and then resize the lens flare so that it's over the main part of the muzzle flash. Then change the colors to three colors, and then move it to red. Go to the post effects tab and, and increase the saturation and then lower the overall brightness that it started at. And once you have the visuals done for this quick and easy effect, you can add sound effects to make it even better and then you'll have your final shot. 
If you're in need of professional video editing, anything from social media to VFX to corporate videos, send us an email at rendereffectsteam at gmail.com. We'd love to work with you. Also, if you haven't checked out our Shazam video, you have to check that out. I'll put it on screen right here. And guys, we'll see you in next week's video. Peace.